Okay, look, let me explain. And I've now been presented with a truly horrific abomination that I'm now gonna have to look at. I'm sure most firearms purists are reacting just like Jonathan is here. This is, for all intents and purposes, blasphemy. But we live in an era where custom gun skins are the norm in every competitive shooter dating back to CSGO, and my knowledge timeline doesn't extend beyond CSGO. But you get the point. Adding bling to guns is cool for gamers. And as much as the title of this video is a hard pill to swallow for me, it's not something I can ignore, and it's also true. Anime skins are brilliant. Blink twice if you feel like you're being held hostage. Personally, I've never been an anime guy. When I discovered what it was in high school, I also met the weebs in high school and decided I didn't want to be like them, so I just didn't watch it. And then I went to film school and watched masterpieces like Battleship Potemkin and The 400 Blows. You tell me which of us was having more fun! But as I grew up and got more into the online gaming sphere, it became obvious pretty quickly how popular it was everywhere I looked. So even though it's not my thing, I can look at this skin and immediately understand why. <laughs> and, and there's a couple of reasons for why I think this is genius. This is the Vector skin for Elevate in Rainbow Six Siege that came out in 2021. The previous year, Elevate had a skin for the Commando 9 that looked like this. Honestly, it's pretty good. It's got nice colors and texturing, it's got lots of obvious org branding but isn't super obnoxious, you can pair it with a couple weapon attachment colors, and compared to most of the other skins that exist for this gun, it's objectively one of the best. The fuck is that? But then compare their commando to their vector, and... You tell me which one the internet would probably pick. It's not like it's exceptional artwork, like it isn't overt or anything, but it's a manga girl. Like, what more could you ask for? She's holding a commando with the Elevate skin on it. Baby, this thing has lore! To me, this works for several reasons. Siege never had a character like this on a weapon until now. Like before, it's arguably one of the better skins in the game for the weapon it's on compared to most of its other options in game. And the culture surrounding ranked play in Siege for a long time was if you had an anime profile picture, you were either cracked or hacking. So for all intents and purposes, this is a home run skin. It's an understanding of Siege's target demographic and a really good example of knowing what players in Siege might gravitate toward. It's marketing 101 at its core because it got a lot of people talking about it. And according to Elevate CEO, sales of the Vector versus the Commando went up by 600%. I could end this video right now on this note and it would be enough to prove my point. But you wanna know what skin they released after this? This AK-12. <laughs> and the sales for this were another 200% higher than the Vector. In case you haven't figured it out by this point, these things print money. But it goes even deeper than that. Elevate's an esports org that's been involved in Siege Esports for a long damn time. They won the only six Invitational on Xbox in 2017, then bounced around regions for years before settling on a team from Thailand in 2021 and stuck with it. They became fan favorites in the West in a relatively short time span, qualified for three premier tournaments, and most recently made it on stage during the playoffs of the Berlin Major this year. To many, they are Apex's last hope. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't follow the esports scene. All you would know is that they make anime skins. That alone is a draw for people to get it, but it's always going to have the name Elevate attached to it. Name recognition, which might get you to Google them, which might lead to finding their Siege team, which might result in you knowing the team more by association, and could even lead you to becoming a fan of the team, which in a perfect world could result in you buying merch from them or supporting them in the long- Full disclosure, this is not an ad for Elevate, but since you're here, be sure to like the video, thank you. That's a pipe dream, but that's also marketing. If you don't know who they are, just planting the name of the team in your mind is good enough for brand awareness to make it work in the future. People can become fans of sports teams for any reason. Like, it's not ludicrous to think that somebody could like a skin and like it enough to then follow the team. Like, I have friends who became fans of teams just because they liked their jerseys. Like, it absolutely could happen. It's not like anime or manga influence is always going to be a draw for people to buy, but it's also not like its popularity really needs to be explained. 
At least in Siege's context, it's an idea that no one's ever tried before, and it didn't come without a little risk. Elevate CEO told me, quote, we can either be followers or we can be innovators. It could either go really well or we would just be memed, and I think from these past trends, it's done really well. And just from the percentages that he gave me, it's pretty obvious that they hit gold. It's enough for other orgs in the siege scene to also give it a shot. Like this last wave of skins that we have had orgs trying similar ideas. Reject, Dire Wolves, Fury. But there will come a time where this probably stops selling. But until then, people might as well jump on the train, right? Personally, I think it's a massive win to produce skins like this, especially for a game that hadn't really seen them very frequently or at all. That alone already makes it stand out from the crowd, so long as you also have a really good base skin to accompany it and you're not just slapping anime stuff on it all the time and expecting that to sell. Though I'm sure there would be some people who like that. And it's also phenomenal for their esports upside because they get a big portion of the sales revenue and their name then sticks in players' heads. But I can also see people who appreciate anime or manga liking this a lot more because this is something that legitimizes something that they've been a fan of that really used to be this small niche thing but has gained a lot more popularity in the West over recent years. It's not some obscure thing that only nerds can enjoy these days. It's something that you can take with you into your favorite games. And honestly, big kudos to the companies who've realized that. Not just because your bank accounts are fat and you very clearly had a winning formula, but <laughs> like, this is just a win for everybody involved. Like it or not, man, these skins are genius. That is all from me. Big thanks to Justin from Elevate for letting me pick his brain on these designs. Uh, I swear that this video isn't an ad, but I had this idea a couple weeks ago and I thought I would expand on it. So hit out my Twitter, my Twitch, and this YouTube channel for more in the coming days, please and thank you. And if you have not seen the deep dive I did about working in esports last week, please go and watch it because I spent forever putting it together. I appreciate the kind words and how that went, but Make sure it gets the views it deserves because goddamn, that took like a week. So <laughs> I'll see you later. Peace.